reads confidence. So I know uh, it was nice to, to see him kind of make a play on a touchdown catch, and hopefully uh, that will give him some kind of an ego boost as far as we need him and uh, stuff like that. And the snaps that Bryce has gotten backing you up this season, have you seen him kind of improve as he's been able to get into the ball games a little bit more now? Yeah, I think uh, he's done a nice job of just coming in and not uh, overthinking things or, you know, sometimes you, when you're up 55 to 6, you don't really know how many times you're going to get to throw the ball. So sometimes you, you want to make the big play or make the pretty play um, instead of just kind of playing within the offense. But he's he's done a real nice job of that and, um, you know, has, has led us down the field on several drives to, to scoring points. So that's the most important thing, too. So he's been doing a great job. You mentioned the completion percentage earlier. You're on the verge of knocking your coach out of the top spot. <laughs> best percentage in the season. Yeah. What would that mean to you, and what would you say to him about that? Well, he always tells us complete balls, so uh, <laughs> I think I'm doing a pretty good job of that this year. In terms of like the game plan coming into this game, it seemed like the first several times you dropped back, you were looking to climb the pocket and, and air it out. Was, was that something you guys saw on film? Did you see you kind of throw the ball down the field? Yeah, we did. I mean, um, you know, they played a lot of coverage where we thought we were going to have some shots deep, and, and we did, and uh, it was nice to connect on them. At this point, when, when, you, when you turn it loose with Chris on the post, I mean, you got to be feeling pretty good about it. You guys seem to be hooking up on every well right now. Yeah, I mean, he was he was pretty wide open. Uh, they don't get really more wide open than the two that he caught today. Um, you know, we, we still have some some issues and some problems of um, being on the same page on running some some deep deep routes. Uh, you know, I, there was some today with Malcolm that we'll have to watch a film and try to figure out a way to, to get on the same page because, you know, he's running his route the one way and I'm throwing it another way. So, you know, we'll have to go back and look at that. And, and uh, you know, you want to connect on as much, most of those as you can because you're throwing it because they're playing a coverage that you feel like you can't complete it. So, uh, but it was nice uh, that uh, we did catch him and throw him real well today. Coming up on the anniversary of your first start, mm -hmm. uh, kind of the, the first game, the comeback and all of that, I mean, What's kind of going through your head as you get ready to prepare for Tech? You can't be like everybody else, right? No, I mean, uh, you know, I think this is a bigger game than what it was last year. Um, you know, uh, I haven't got to watch much of Tech, but obviously they're eight and two or nine and two, and you know they're a top twenty ball team in the in the nation, so they're good and they're good at what they do. And I just know that when when you play teams that run this triple off, option offense, it's it's dangerous and it's. It's frustrating too because it's hard to get into a rhythm because your possessions are really kind of cut in half because they kill the clock so much and um, so you really got to do a good job of executing and making sure you're getting points. Uh, you saw us last year get down 20 nothing. I mean that's a terrible feeling to be sitting over there on the sideline just seeing that clock uh, being milked and killed and uh, you know you may go out there and get a three and out and then they're back on the field. So it's uh, you know you you really kind of got to execute and. and uh, and do a really good job as far as that goes when you're playing teams like that. You talk about a guy like Jonathan 